Hey everybody, Chris from the Nerdlies here. Uh, I wanted to do this because I am just a huge fan of the show. As you can see here, I have a little setup of some chicken wings, some hot sauces, some uh, milk and, uh, and water. Um, big fan of hot ones, both of us are. Rachel's a big a fan of it too. We love watching that show. Um, Sean is just an amazing, amazing host. So it's fun to watch those guys do it. But every single time I watch it, I'm just like so curious about these hot sauces. And everyone seems to kind of enjoy them, even if they're in pain, <laughs> I feel like. Most people, uh, I'd say like 75%. Um, but I was very curious about them because I like hot sauces and stuff like that. I like wings, so I wanted to try them out. So we did the sampler trio, basically. It's their classic hot sauce, with, which is their base normal, like mild hot sauce. We got the Los Calientes, which is the middle. And of course the famous Last Dab, which is their hottest hot sauce. So we're gonna try all three, see what happens. Uh, I can't guarantee I will look any good while I'm eating these. So let's try it. So what I'm gonna do, we have these naked hot wings and then I'm just gonna put the sauce on a plate and just kind of roll it up and see what, and see what happens. So start off. Classic hot sauce. Should I be right now? Uh, sure, you can try. Put the classic hot sauce down. What made you want to do broadcast journalism major? <laughs> uh, I did want to do broadcast journalism because I, I stupidly wanted to get into uh, music journalism, to be honest with you. I liked what, reading stuff from Rolling Stone. So um, I guess I should answer after I eat the hot wing. But let me try that. I'm just gonna roll that around. This is the lightest, so hopefully it's gonna be nothing. We'll see. <laughs> this is a really nice hot sauce. This is what I would be doing in the in the first couple rounds. I feel like yeah. oh, if I were okay. like, oh, you're good. You're really good. Let me die. <laughs> I don't care at all about what questions you ask. But to answer Rachel's question, I, uh, I went to journalism school because I loved um, Rolling Stone and I loved music. So I don't know why I assumed that I was gonna be a music journalist, but that's what I wanted to be. Um, and I also watched Almost Famous probably way too many times and uh, thought I was gonna be as cool as that to be able to do it. So, and obviously it didn't happen. Went into more of the back, behind the scenes and editing and stuff like that than, um, than the music journalism. But I almost dipped another one in this. I already only have three wings out here. We have more if I need it. Yeah. But that's a very good hot sauce, very mild. So now we're gonna move on to the Los Calientes. person that we look up to most. Okay. That's, a, that's one that I need to think about. Ooh. <laughs> this is, okay, I'm not gonna say it too soon. This builds a little bit, um, but it is very good. It's like a sweet, it's like a sweet hot sauce. It's got a little bit of- that. Yeah. About, well, I forgot which one it was. I knew it was one. But this one is a little bit sweet. It kind of has like a citrusy tang, which is good. Hmm. It's definitely burning a little bit in the back of the throat. <laughs> I'm kind of scared as because these are both pretty mild. Mm -hmm. Kind of scared what the next step up is going to be. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit. Because I feel like from this to this is a huge difference. <laughs> so. You asked the person that I look up to most. Yeah. Um, I was kind of a generic answer, but I always say my parents. My parents came from Vietnam, and um, we're like we're like 75% Chinese, 25% Vietnamese. Um, but my parents were refugees from the Vietnam War, so they came to the states in 1980, and I was born here. So like I can't imagine what the challenges were when they came over from from that war-torn country basically and having to learn how to live here and do all the things here um 
Yeah, I think that's just an amazing immigrant story and refugee story. Like the things that they've been able to accomplish. My dad knows like five or six languages. And I couldn't even, I mean, I know just enough Spanish to be able to order from like a taco truck. <laughs> and that's about it. Yeah. I don't know Vietnamese. I don't know much Mandarin. I can do, I, I can't speak it, but I can hear passable Mandarin. But that's about it. Um, but yeah, those are the people I, I would say I look up to. Um, yeah, I can't even think of like a, a fictional, like not a fictional, but like a famous person that I really look up to. I'd say it's, it's my parents. We're on to the last I'm one. So I. For you. This is actually, I, I mean, say I'm, for you. I'm a little scared too, solely Why? because the first two have been so mild. Uh, even the middle sauce, I wouldn't even say that this is like that hot. I'm pretty sure most people can handle this one. This one though, I'm just not sure. Because obviously they go through a lot of like jumps between one to the next. So this one I'm definitely going to dab onto the table, onto the plate first. I, now I know why they like, you really have to shake this thing out. Oh, this is a chunky sauce. Ooh, that's a lot. <laughs> I, I know, I know. I'm just gonna putting it on so that I'm not gonna use all of it. Um, oh my god! Okay. I'm just gonna so, put a bit on the sides I here. What I was gonna ask you because now I'm scared. <laughs> it's fine. No, I think I was gonna ask you. Ooh, you can smell your, this one. All of your creative projects, which are, which, like, what are you most proud of that you've done? <sighs> it could be like editing for work or podcast or um okay okay let me just take a bite of this first before i answer here we go last dab well, that is fiery right off the top it's not terrible though i'm gonna put more on who Okay, once you swallow, the fire comes like, oh man. Woo! I'm not gonna power through this whole wing and then I'm gonna have some milk. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh God, the question that you asked me. Yeah. Greatest accomplishment. <laughs> yeah. I wanna make sure I go through the whole wing. I have hubris. So, greatest accomplishment, I feel like. Oh, milk. Milk is happening. <laughs> oh. Ugh. So, greatest accomplishment, I feel like, was, I still think the hardest I've ever worked was back at ASU. We did this show called Dirty Oatmeal with no bu budget. And, oh my God, I was on fire. <laughs> oh, man. Can you see my eyes watering? I'm gonna be like Shia LaBeouf. Really like, I'm, real, I'm real crying right now. Really um, really but yeah, dirty oatmeal is some, something I'm always gonna be proud of. I'm trying not to, I'm trying to touch my glasses. Um, because on a student budget, which was nothing, was whatever money we had, we did a weekly 30 minute comedy show for a student run television station. And um, it was funny stuff to us at the time. If you watch it now, it's still available on YouTube. If you look up Dirty Oatmeal, it's there. It's some dumb shit and some stuff we stole from other, other skits that we wanted to do ourselves. But just the things that we were able to do as college kids, like with everyone had jobs and semesters, like other classes to worry about. Oh my God, it's so hot. Um, yeah, why did I do this? Um, but I just can't believe we actually did it for an entire yeah. semester and actually did like something like eight episodes and every episode we did more and more different things. So I was really happy with the product that came out of it. Yeah. Oh my God. So I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm just going to need to take some milk. Oh man. But okay. So if you're going to do this at home, and buy the sampler trio, the main things. And I'm gonna wipe my eyes a little bit with the towel, cause can't use my fingers. Um, just know 
If you were actually gonna do this on a one, yeah, because I haven't drank in like in like years and years. He gets even more red than this. Um, but if you were gonna do this at home, use these three three hot sauces. Um, they they rate this as, this is like the one out of ten, super mild. They rate this as a five out of ten, and this is ten out of ten. If I were gonna adjust that scale, this is a one. This is a three, and this is like a 15 out of 10. The yeah. jump between this and this is insane. Yeah, I mean, it's I'm handleable. Sure they have several more in between. Yeah. yeah so. It's handleable, obviously. Yeah. I, you get through it. I wouldn't have more than two wings of this, and I, I rolled it around. This was not tossed in the sauce. So <laughs> I'd say two wings max that I could do at that. And I would take, at, as long as I've been talking right now, in between the two weeks. Because <laughs> yeah. now it's finally starting to um, subside. But every time you swallow, you feel a little bit more tingle of the thing in the back of your throat. It is a lot of heat, but it's, a, it's very flavorful, just like the other ones. It's got a, this one's definitely a lot, got a lot more bite to like, I can't even describe what type of flavor it is, but it does have flavor to as hot as it is. But it does stay with you for a while. And it'll hit the back of your throat once you start swallowing those pieces of, of chicken. Oh man, I was I was ready, but not all the way ready. It's fine, I totally, this is why I bought it. I wanted to be able to try it and I'll have to try it again. Hopefully we can have somebody, <laughs> I'll have someone virtually do it as well and I can watch them do it. Um, but I just want to do this just because I love the show. Uh, shout out to, to Hot Ones and First We Feast. Make these, we'll put a link in the description. And not like you wouldn't know what Hot Ones is. Most of you knew, do. But we'll put a link in there just... <laughs> yeah, let's look at my... I don't know how much I'm crying right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would, I'll put the link in there just so you can buy this sampler pack for yourself if you want to try them at home. Because I, you know, I thought that at least this classic edition if you're gonna make wings at home and just toss them in it this is fantastic and the Los Calientes is fantastic this is definitely just a challenge bottle for sure I don't know who could eat this on end every single day uh, or like multiple wings um, but yeah in any case shout out to them uh, follow us nerdlies on uh, any of your favorite podcast platforms uh, if you like this video, click that like button, subscribe to the channel. Uh, Rachel has a Patreon, patreon.com slash Lady Raygun. All the links will be in the description. So I uh, <laughs> just wanted to give a shout out to that. Um, hopefully you guys are having a good time staying safe. This is kind of something I wanted to do because we're just in our houses all the time. We wanted to make some content. So uh, yeah, let me know if you want me to do more of this type of shit <laughs> at home. I don't know if it's going to be hot sauces or what, but just let me know. All right. Have a good day. We'll talk to you soon. I'm going to go drink this rest of this glass of milk and uh, try to cool down my mouth <laughs> and uh, try to get these tears out of my eyes. All right. Have a good night or day. Bye.